was the son of a pizza man, the only boy who could ever Hey guys, welcome to Son of a Pizza Man. My name is Enzo, and today we are making a fig and prosciutto pizza. So fig and prosciutto is a classic combination. Um, I've never had it, so I'm very excited to try it. Uh, right now, figs are not in season because it's March. Uh, they're usually in season after June. So we're gonna be using a fig preserve or fig jam instead. Uh, but I think it'll, it'll still give the, the general flavor uh, profile of the pizza. So we're using the Breville again today. Uh, I actually got the dough recipe from the Breville recipe card. So um, we'll see how it goes. So let's open up this dough. Super, super thin, super soft. So I have my pizza peel already semolina, so it doesn't stick as we're putting all the toppings on here. The first thing we're going to do is apply the fig preserve spread, and it's gonna act like the, the base or the sauce for the pizza. So I'm just going to spread it somewhat liberally. This just came out of the fridge, so I probably should have let it sit out a little bit, so it's a little, little easier to spread, but we will make do. The next thing I'm gonna add is the uh, prosciutto. Prosciutto, I don't know why, but prosciutto is so hard to peel apart. The, the only packages that I found at the supermarket are the ones that have the clear like acetate sheets in between each slice. Uh, it is super challenging. I don't know if you've ever had to peel the slices, but these are so thin and it's like hard to peel away from the acetate. It's very frustrating, but that's just a little side note. Um, anyway, so we're gonna add, we're gonna add the prosciutto to the pizza. So I'm just gonna kinda place it on there liberally. And then the last thing we're gonna add before we put it into the oven is some fresh mozzarella. Uh, these are just some mozzarella balls that I picked up. Uh, you can get them in various sizes. You can even get the pre-packaged not in water ones. That'll work just fine. Just make sure it's fresh. And then I just like to kind of clump them or spread them out. So you're getting good coverage on the pizza. So that's it for now. We're gonna put this in the oven for about seven minutes. And then when it comes out, we're gonna dress it with a whole bunch of other stuff. So let's get to it. All right, so it's been about seven minutes and we're gonna take the pizza out. Right, right away, I can tell it's very wet. Um, I'm not sure why it's so wet, but Hi, baby. Oh, hey, baby. Hello. Uh, you're just in time. I know. We're gonna do. We're gonna do some dressing. Okay. So I just took the pizza out. Uh, as I was saying, it's very wet Oof. for some reason. But anyway, we're gonna we're gonna continue. We're gonna move forward. Delicious, but yes, puddly. So first thing, I'm gonna get some black pepper on this on the sucker. Oh, I just came in from the cold, and I'm ready to eat. Pizza. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, we're going to put some fresh arugula. This is actually baby arugula. Mm. This is more for for color Crunch. than nutritional value. This like gives it like arugula's got kind of a, it's like a isn't it in the is it like associated like almost like with mustard? Uh, maybe. Let's go like mustard green kind of flavor. We're putting some Mike's hot honey. If you haven't had hot honey, it's really delicious. <laughs> it's it's basically spicy honey. So just gonna, I know what hot honey. <laughs> gonna drizzle drizzle some of this on. Yeah. Maybe. I don't know. Gilding the lily here. I don't know. It's so pretty. Uh, and then we're going to all right drizzle. 
some balsamic vinegar, which I reduced. So I kind of, I just boiled it down and added a little bit of honey to it to make it like a glaze. Did you add the Mike's Hot Honey? No. Okay. So it's like super thick. So we're just gonna drizzle that on top as well. Baby. Just to make it extra sexy. It's too sexy. Too sexy. It's too sexy. I'm scared. And then, and then the last thing we're gonna add is some um, grated Parmesan. This is just a block of Parmesan Reggiano. And we're just gonna grate it right on top. Just for that extra cheesy zing. Mmm. <laughs> mmm, zing. That's what I'm always going to pizza places for. Zing. Cheesy zing. Uh, this looks delicious, by the way. So the final test is the taste test. So hopefully this tastes good. So I'm just gonna, I'm not sure why it's so wet. I think it's probably the fig, fig jam that made it wet. Whoa. So we might have a partial fail with this pizza because it is so wet. It looks really and good, but it just... It looks good, but the dough is also not very, I don't know, I was expecting something different. I think. Crispy? So let's, let's try it. Okay. Let's try this wet mess. Definitely a fail. Oh, but the flavor wise, I don't think it's the a flavor, fail. The flavors are amazing. Um, they taste really well together, but yeah, this is not, <laughs> this is not cute. And you know what? You're gonna win some, you're gonna lose some. And as long as you learn from your mistakes. So don't use fig jam. That's number one. Use uh, actual figs. Use actual figs. I would probably, I feel like that's what made the dough not rise properly. Cause the dough is like, it's like super dense and a little gummy. Um, so I think that's, that's probably the thing, the, the, the main thing I would change is, I think that kind of ruined the whole thing. But the flavors are really good. So yeah. uh, if you try this, uh, don't use fig jam, use fresh figs. In my opinion, great pizza. Still, it's still got a, I think the crust is still pretty good. I mean, it didn't rise as much, but yeah. it's still super tasty. I, I, I like it. But that's what pizza making is all about. You're not gonna have home runs each time. You gotta time. have a margin for error. Yeah, You know. so there you go. Uh, let me know if you try this at home. If, you, if you're able to get fresh figs somehow, um, I would love to hear about it. And uh, yeah, tag me in a photo or a video or something or whatever. Thanks guys for watching as always. If you haven't already, please remember to subscribe and like up this video if you liked it. And until next time, ciao for now. Smell you later. Son of a pizza man, the only boy who could.